If you confuse your child with their body or with their intelligence or with their schoolwork or their achievements, you, stop, you actually stop seeing your child. Because if you do, if you do confuse your child with what they do or what they say or what they achieve, it means you confuse yourself as well. And one of the things we need to look at this evening, how do you actually create safety for consciousness to arise? No parent, no teacher, no politician wants to perpetrate neglect in this world. But when they're in that protective place, in that defensive walled place, you can perpetrate amazing neglect, right? But only because you want to protect yourself. If I shout as a parent or as teacher at, at children, what is shouting out in me to be seen? What is shouting out in me that I need to uncover? What, is the f what fear is driving my aggression? Because there's something needs to be uncovered. Safe holdings are critical to teenagers' well-being. Only when there's safety, no criticism, no judgment, but love and affection and warmth and concern and support and listening and understanding. And you continue to put those bridges out. I can assure you the teenager, as the safety increases, will begin to come forward. But be patient. <laughs>